Hello and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to cover the loft feature in Fusion 360. As you can see on screen, I've created four challenges or activities which will either introduce or develop your existing knowledge and skills linked to the loft feature. Any of the completed files or documentation can be found in the links below. So what we're going to do is jump over to Fusion. So in Fusion, what we've got here is the first challenge we're going to have a go at. So as you can see, what we've got is a shape in 3D, which has been generated from two sketches. So we've got a base, which is a square like this. And then towards the top, we've got a circle like that. Now, if we just went up to extrude and extruded that circle, that would turn into a cylinder. And if we just extruded the base square, that would turn into a cube or cuboid. So what a loft does, it looks at the two sketches and merges them together and forms a 3D shape. And then what I've done then is added a shell here so, you can, so we can actually see what's inside. Because it gives us a better idea of the actual internal shape. So we're going to click on plus and we're going to go up to sketch. And actually just before that, I turn on my origins, my planes. So we'll go up to sketch. I'm going to sketch on this base work plane. We're going to go up to center rectangle. And I'm going to drag out and type in 100 and use the tab to go between the two dimensions and click enter. So I'm happy with that sketch and I'm going to click the green tick. I'm now going to go up to construction and create what's called an offset plane. I'm going to create an offset of this bottom plane here. And you can choose any plane depending on what you want to do, but we're going to go for 100 millimeters, okay, from the base up like so. And we could change this later on if we need to. I'm now going to go sketch. I'm going to click on that top work plane. And I'm going to use a circle. So C for circle, or you can find it up here, okay, or in here. So center circle. I'm going to drag that out to 100 millimeters. Green tick. And what we're going to do, if I zoom in and out, we're going to use the loft. So the loft is up in create. We're going to click on, to start with, the base. So that's our first profile. And then our second profile is the circle. And as you can see, it's merged those two together to create a 3D shape. Now, what I'm going to do later in some of the other activities is we'll look at guide rails and some of the other techniques or options in here. But to create a basic loft, as you can see here, okay, we've created all right, that shape. These little control points okay, allow us to just distort the shape slightly, okay, but we'll do that on the, one of the last activities. But for now, we're just going to leave those points in place. And what the software has done is gone from basically the shortest distance to create that edge and that point. But we can, again, we'll change that later. Click OK. And if I go up to Shell and give that a shell, okay, or whatever thickness I want, I've simply created that loft. So as you can see, that was quite an easy thing to do. And if I just turn off the, not the body, sorry, turn off the origins, we can see that a little bit better. And again, any of these can be changed here. So if I wanted to go into that sketch and change this to be 150, Instead, that way, okay, my loft will update, as you can see. All right, and the same again, if I wanted to go into the sketch, I can edit that. Change the dimensions, and my loft will automatically update. And it's the same with the distance of the, the plane. So if I wanted that to be further up, there you go. Again, it's all editable basically you can edit anything so if i go back in time click on do a few times you can see we'll go back to the design that i uh, wanted to create the next loft challenge is to create a lofted shape that involves or contains more than two sketches so if you see the design on the screen and i click play you can see the stages i went through to create this so i've created a sketch at the front i've created a sketch and a work plane in the middle with a oval shape in it. And then I've gone to the end and created a sketch that's got a circle. And then what I've done is I've lofted it and then created a shell. Okay, so we can actually see the internal shape. 
So to recreate that, I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to turn on my origins. I'm going to go up to sketch, and I'm going to sketch on this back work plane. I'm going to go up to rectangle, center rectangle. I'm going to click in the middle of the origin and drag this out. This is going to be 80 by 150. So I'm using a tab to go between the two and click the green tick. We're now going to create an offset work plane of that back work plane. And it's going to be minus 100, like so. I'm going to create a sketch on that sort of middle work plane there, that offset work plane. The sketch is going to be an ellipse. So I'm going to go from the start and just drag this out for now like that. I'm going to use the dimension tool, so D for dimension, just to dimension that half, and it's going to be 100, well actually 50, sorry, so 100 the total length. And I'm going to go up here to here, okay, 25. Now any of these dimensions can be changed if we want to. And then I'm going to go for another offset work plane. I'm going to go for this time, it's going to be 200 from the front to minus 200. Or oh, I could have set it from, if I wanted to, the one I created there. But I've done that one instead. So I'm going to go sketch again this time, C for circle, and I'm going to set this to 80 and enter. So what we've got is we've got three sketches now, three 2D sketches, which we're going to create a loft. And you could go on and on and on. You could add more shapes going further down. You could add different shapes going in between these. But we're going to keep it relatively simple. So we're going to go up to loft again. And we're going to add these profiles. So we're going to go from that rectangle to that ellipse. And again, it brings these edges the shortest distance. And I'll show you how you can mess around with those to deform the shape slightly. And then we go to the back one, like so. And it's merged all those three shapes together to create a 3D design. And if we click OK, we've got our basic shape. Now, if we go back in, I've sp spoken a little bit about these points. So these points can be controlled slightly. And what that will do, depending on your design, and so the angle you look at that, and we move this up here, it will, okay, deform or reshape the edge, depending on where you want that to go. All right? The default is they've got a shortest distance between each three, but that allows you to form a ripple shape. If you drag that a bit too far, it will error out because it's in, it'll be intersecting. Okay, so again, any of these particular points could be changed, especially if you want those edges to come in a bit further, like so. So that's what those white points are for. And again, you, it's the same on the back. It all depends on the shapes that you're actually using to create your loft. And if we click OK, again, we can add a simple shell, depending on what thickness we wanted to. So we can whatever thickness really would be five. We then created that loft. And if we go to a sectional view and go, sorry, inspect, sectional, you can see how that's merged those shapes together to go from circle all the way down to that ellipse and then starting to square off and come to that rectangle at the front. Okay, so that's how you create a loft using free sketches and also how you can control the edges as well that it creates. Thanks for watching and if you found this content helpful please click like and subscribe and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.